Hello! Today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty-free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today is my second video in my Ace Beauté week. And if you don't know what that is, I have four palettes from Ace Beauté that I'm going to use this week. I'm just going to do a look with one of each of the palettes. And that's my week. And today it's the second day and I have picked the Oceanic. I think this came out of the flare palette. Um, yeah. So, no, it did not. But of the ones I have, I think the flare palette was the first one. Then they released another like 12 pen, I think. And then they came the Paradise Collection. And then I think it was this one. But it's the second one in order that I have them. Why do I make things harder for myself? If you don't know how this looks, it looks like this. I really, really like this palette. It's my favorite green and blue palette. I think it is. I think I only have done one like dedicated video on this on my channel, but I have used it in three videos, I think it is. In two Get Ready With Me's with, or Get Ready With Us with uh, my friend Jessica. I can leave that on the description. And I don't know if I've done anything more with this one, actually. I'm not sure. Do you hear that? <laughs> we think that Ines is getting an adult. It's going to be an adult now. I think we think she is... I have no idea what it's called in English. But he's a grown up now. And we are going to sterilize both of the cats in a couple of days. And uh, yeah, so we have decided not to take kittens. That has nothing to do with this. I'm going to do a makeup look with this. I'm sorry for you who doesn't usually watch me. I'm a crazy cat lady. Hello, my name is Lisa. Crazy cat lady, number one. Enough with that. We are going to hop into this. And I like don't know if I want to do a green or a blue look. I like green. Um, I'm not a super big fan of blue. So maybe that means that I should do blue. But I don't know if I want to. I have blue nails though. But like blue. I think I will do green. Do you hate me if I do green? I don't think you do. So yeah. I will just prime my eyes, zoom in a little bit, and then we get started. Okay, so I start thinking maybe I should do a halo eye. It was a long time since I did a halo eye, actually. Okay, so I'm going to do a green halo eye. The only thing is now, do I want to have like this more grungy halo with this yellow fish? Or do I want to have like a more fun with Mykonos. I have no idea. And do I want something in my crease? I actually think I want that. I usually, or it's not always that I have something in my crease when I do a halo eye. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But today I'm going to, and I'm going to take seagrass in my crease, and then I'm going to take turtle out here and in here and for the like actually hey actual halo I think we need to have a little swatch first and do I look a little bit short maybe so I'm going to start with seagrass the really green one maybe this is a little bit dark I hope I got the brush kind of clean at least I I should have cleaned my brushes a long, long time ago. So now I just do like speed clean them. So maybe after this video, maybe I should just <laughs> do it. Because they unfortunately do not clean themselves. Okay, so this green. pretty dark but I like it so I think something like that 
and uh, my hair is a little bit curly. I am trying to like learn how to curl my hair. I think it's going better and better. But I don't know. I am one of these persons that has like the straightest hair ever. And I just hate my straight hair. And I guess that you that are born with curly hair, I guess that some of you really want straight hair, but I think like you always want the thing you don't have. And I have straight hair, like it's thin and straight. It's like this typical Scandinavian hair and I just hate it. So I'm trying to get a little bit of life in it, but yeah. I don't know. It's going better and better, but it's hard. It's like hard to curl your hair. It's like I'm going in with a turtle now, out here and in here. And it feels good to have something in my crease when, because I think this turtle is pretty dark, when I'm doing a halo eye with something that is really dark. I think it sometimes can be a little bit harsh, harsh if I would take this in my crease as well. So I think something like that. I think I want a kind of big halo today. And then in here. And when I bought this palette, I was like really debating on if I should buy this one or Certify Affinity 2. But I decided on this one. And I'm so happy for it. This is an amazing palette. I really love it. The thing that I love about it I can save for the end of the video and do you know what I'm going to take for lip color to this I guess that all of you know okay so now it's for the actual halo if you're going to take Mykonos or yellowfish I think I will swatch these and do it this way. So, the yellow fish, the yellow fish, or Mickey Mouse. I think I actually want to. Should I just go in with Mickey Mouse, this one? Because the obvious choice for me would be yellow fish. But I think this will be fun. So, I think I actually take Mickey Mouse. Mikanaus. Mik Have you ever been to Mikanaus? I haven't. Okay, so I'm going to do this without a glitter glue. And do you miss traveling? I actually don't think I do. <laughs> Maybe I miss a little bit. Me and my boyfriend, we... Okay, I think I should have cut this crease. This is the only thing with like Ace Beauté's shimmers. In a palette, some of the shimmers are amazing and some of the shimmers are not. And this Mykonos is not that amazing. But it was a long time since I used this palette. Like, Anemone is amazing, and I think it's Marina as well. And Bora Bora. I can't remember. It's workable, but I have to go over it so many times. Okay, me and my boyfriend, we don't travel that much. We usually travel once a year. Or, okay. I live in Sweden. And if you don't know, Denmark is one of our neighbors and it is another country but every time I go to Denmark I like forget the, that I'm in another country <laughs> for us it takes like two hours to go to Denmark by train and I understand most of Danish so it's like you understand what people are saying when you're there and it is pretty like 
close to Sweden, like how you behave and stuff like that. So when I don't say that I'm not traveling that much and then like remember, oh yeah, I usually go to Denmark at least once a year. And that is like the only traveling I miss. And I think this was, this Mykonos was a good choice. I should just have cut the crease, but cut the crease, cut the halo, but it's working. Okay, I think this like became a more fun halo eye. I think if I would have taken <laughs> taken jellyfish, it would have been more like my kind of halo, like a little bit more grungy. But this it was a little bit more fun. Okay, I think I'm satisfied like this. Maybe I just want to build up turtle a little bit out here. So I'm going to fix it on this eye as well. But yeah, I really, okay. The only thing is like, I want the Mika nose a little bit more on turtle. Maybe I should have done the halo a little bit bigger. <laughs> so I will fix this eye, put on my foundation and everything, and then I come back and we do the under eyes together. For my lower lash, I will start with seagrass, and that might be enough. Just had to check if I was recording still. I think that this will do. I'm going to take something green in my waterline as well. I just want to do something a little to spice this look up. I will take Alge or Alge. Alge? Alge? This one, the matte, a really bright one, and pop it in my inner corner. I think that was a really good choice. So I will take this. Gotcha from LA Girl in my waterline from mascara. Choose a red lippy for this because of course it's going to be red. I don't know if I want to go with a fun red or a grunt red. I might want to take fun red or like <laughs> a brighter red. We'll see. I just going to go from my red lipsticks and I will see which one I will pick. I did decide to go on a more fun red too, so I <laughs> so I took. NYX Liquid Suede in Kitten Heels. I think this is my one of my most like fun and bright red. So this is my green halo eye with the Oceanic Pal from Ace Brite. So I did use, just for a little recap, Mykonos as my halo shade and then I used Turtle as the dark one, Seagrass in my crease and underneath my eyes and all day Aldi, never know how to pronounce that, in my inner corners. And I really like this look. I think it looks good. The only thing I wish that I had used a glitter primer for the shimmer in my halo. It worked good. And I think that might be a thing that bothers a little, a little people. Some of the people that are trying Ace Beauty, that they are not like super consistent when it comes to their palettes and not like even in the palettes. But I think that all palettes or the most of the, well, m the most of the palettes that exist has has some duds. Jesus. But the thing that I really like about this palette is that it has some grungy colors and also this lagoon shade this dark dark blue it's an amazing dark blue i think i had it when me and jessica did a get ready with us a palette bingo with this one on her channel i think it was in that video and i got this lagoon and it is it is so so dark and it's easy to blend out and it doesn't blend out to like just blur it still stays blue and as I said most of the shimmers in this palette is good and I really love like yellow fish and anemone it's grungier 
shimmers. So I like this palette. I don't love all the colors, but I think it has a good variation between blue and green and darker, lighter, a little bit more fun, a little bit more toned down. How toned down the blue now can be, I don't know. But I think it's a really good mix. I really like it. I recommend it. Maybe if you have tried the flare palette and you didn't like it, maybe you don't like this one, this one. But if you have tried the flare palette and like it, I can recommend this. And I think that was all for this video. If you didn't see my video, I don't know which date came up. Uh, but the two palettes that I have left is... Vintage Dawn and Scarlet Dusk. I think Vintage Dawn will be the next one. It looks like this. I did it to looks one palette not that long ago. And I think I will save Scarlet Dusk to last. So I really hope you liked this video and I hope that you like that I'm doing a theme week again. I think they are fun. I think it's fun to play with palettes I have and I know a lot of you have these palettes or like similar palettes and I hope that I can inspire you a little bit. But yeah. That was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!